let's start <coughs> with verse 92 the link <coughs> after attaining the correct understanding of the nature of liberation and its benefits nature of liberation and the benefits the disciple desirous of putting an end to his transmigration pari brahman no ant is eager to know the correct method to attain liberation he has some doubts right now he has no doubts for the existence of the soul he pondered over it and by the grace of guru his guru without any campfire se sessions without any campfire sessions he was convinced about the existence of the soul no private tuitions direct out tuition and intuition both no extra tuitions so existence everlastingness doership the enjoyer of karmas and enjoy to su bolwanu so sufferer bolu to chale ji sufferer receiver of consequences or the fruits of karmas liberation but so regarding these five he has no doubts but regarding the six the means of liberation he has some doubts regarding the path of liberation presenting his confusion the disciple says ho ikadapi moksh pad nahi avirodh upay karmo kaad anant na मोक्षपद स्टेट ऑफ लिबरेशन इवन इफ देर इज नॉट दैट ही हैज डाउट्स लेफ्ट बट बिकॉज ही हैज नॉट एक्सपीरियंस लिबरेशन ही हैज अंडरस्टूड लिबरेशन so he has to use kadapi even if there is liberation or a state of liberation nahi avirodh upay nahi no avirodh undisputed unopposed not controversial universally accepted there is no way meaning there is no path of liberation undisputed path of liberation nahi avirodh upay and now presenting his first argument in the next line he is presenting the first argument so 92 will be the first argument 93 will be the second argument 94 will be the third argument 95 no argument <laughs> conclusion drawn from the first three arguments and 96 pleading for solution so how many doubts so you can plan all those who in the quiz can plan <laughs> they can actually plan you do the first two i'll do the third <laughs> but that that's fine for the quiz but you need to understand the doubts because when you will pursue the path of liberation and you don't get results it is that time when these doubts will arise what is right should i do only seva for eight hours or i should do seva for four hours and swadhyay for four hours or i should do eight hours only swadhyay dhyan what is the correct path selfless service is the correct path or gnan dhyan is the or pure devotion is the path you are going to suffer from these doubts when you won't get the results so it's better you know it from now so all the three are very nice very important to understand so hoye 
कदापि मोक्ष पद इवन इफ देर इज लिबरेशन नहीं अविरोध उपाय देर इज नो वे विच वे अनडिस्प्यूटेड वे दे आर सेवरल वेज एंड आई एम कंफ्यूज बट देर इज नो वन यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड वे खारू कई रसोई में शाक में खारू जोत हो तो शू नाखवा सोल्ट शुगर शुगर नहीं चिली पेपर सो इट इज यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इट स्वीट यू हैव टू पुट शुगर सोल्टी पुट सोल्ट हाउ इट इज यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड बट आई डोंट सी एनी अनडिस्प्यूटेड पार्ट ओके फर्स्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट कर्मो काल अनंतना now you are familiar with these words karmas of infinite times karmo kal anantana atle anant kal na karmo shati chheda jaye how can it be destroyed avite je yaad rakhvanu che badi gatha poetry with drama with proper understanding of this so the short meaning even if there is a state of liberation there appears no undisputed path to attain it this is the common doubt and now the arguments for the doubt so this is the first argument which i'll be saying now so what is the first argument how can karmas accumulated since infinite times countless past lives infinite times countless past lives be annihilated meaning destroyed in this short life span 60 70 80 years human birth 20 15 years so you didn't know anything about religion spirituality nothing you were not even eager to understand no inclination nothing so ek kadi nak ne 80 mate so 65 years so say in this short life span of 65 years last 5 years chodi den bimari so 60 that is if you live long but then also is a short span in 60 years in karmas accumulated since infinite times you know just to understand atla karma che ane atli zindagi che you understand atli zindagi ma how can I, how can karmas accumulated since time immemorial or past countless past lives or say infinite time how can it be destroyed there seems no path or way in which i can destroy all the karmas in why all the karmas i am saying because liberation means destruction of all karmas that's what the quiz people had said all the karmas should be destroyed 10 grams bhi baki hoy to you are not completely accomplished siddha right so how is it possible you understand so <coughs> see having had his doubts cleared about the liberation of the soul it's all clear shubha kare phalo bhogve devadi narakadi everything of two doubts he had everything is clear so having having all the doubts you know all the doubts were clear regarding the liberation of the soul he asks the worthy disciple asks one more seminal question fundamental question a question which is which has a seed in it once it is resolved it turns into fruit fruit of liberation so one more seminal question and that is regarding the means of liberation and this confusion of his is multi layered so multi layer i am going to show you three layers three doubt three arguments so three layers but multi layered confusion is i am not clear regarding the path of liberation that is the doubt 
or there is no path of liberation. That is his doubt. But the whole confusion is multi-layered. And over here, Param Krupa Deva has shown three, three layers. There is no undisputed path of liberation. Why? One, two, three. 92, 93, 94. Right? So in 92, he's saying karmas have been accumulated since infinite time. And it seems far-fetched to think of eliminating or destroying all in such short span, short time. So that is the first one, which we'll be, which we'll be seeing now. The second is, there is not one universally accepted. That is the next doubt, the uh, next argument. Universally accepted because there are multiple, diverse, multiple and diverse. If they are multiple but all in the same direction, it would be easy. So different people explain it differently, but it is only, they explain one thing. But sometimes it is diverse and maybe opposite. And in this plethora of opinions, I am confused. So that is the second one. And third, which caste, creed, gender, garb, attire, sect will lead me to liberation? Some say only Brahmins can. Some say only males can be liberated. Some say only if you wear a garb of our sect, you can be called a sadhu and you can be liberated. You can attain liberation. So that is another question. So see the confusion is multi-layered. First, which we'll be, we'll be discussing now, it seems far-fetched or rather impossible to destroy all the karmas in such a... Because all means countless lives. And one life. How is it possible? Second, multiple views, multiple opinions. Some say pure devotion is the path to moksha, And some will say something exactly different. Because this is just sheer emotion. This won't lead you to moksha. It is shubha. Bhakti is shubha. And with Shubh, you can only go to Devgati and you won't attain Moksha. <laughs> Phoenix, all this Bhakti of yours is just Shubh Bhav. And Shubh Bhav Karetane Sumale. You are saying it, see now. You are not even referring to Atma Siddhi Shastra. You have understood it so well. You are saying so. All this is just emotions towards a. Nice fellow. <laughs> but this, so the diverse multiple opinions and he's caught in this maze. And third, what caste or gender or garb will actually lead me to liberation? Hoya kadapi moksha pad. Even if it is possible to attain liberation, even if it is Possible to be karmaless, passionless, purest state of liberation, even if it is possible, there seems no such path to attain it. Logically, I am convinced that there can be a state where Shubh is also over, Ashubh is also over, all the karmas are over, and then you are in the purest state, and that is liberation, and you are a liberated soul. But I don't see any path. Which path? Nahi avirodh upai. Upai meaning path. Nahi path, no path. Kevu avirodh. Undisputed path I don't see. I don't see a path which is authentic. Because he's going to ask, give me five uh, words for it. It's very weird. I could not answer it. I knew one. Authentic, undisputed, unopposed, 
it should not be controversial also. Universally accepted, unopposed, undisputed, authentic, cannot be invalidated by anyone's logic. Nyayiti, yuktiti. So three is fine, huh? five is not needed. Undisputed, unopposed, universally accepted. Three you say, you get full marks. Best words are universally accepted. But if there is no path, then how can karmas which were accumulated since time immemorial be annihilated? And if the karmas are not destroyed, how can one attain liberation? So he is actually feeling, I understood liberation so well, but I am not understanding the path. And if there is no path, it is just an intellectual concept, liberation. But there is no way to attain liberation. Sadhguru is smiling away. He is saying, to chup thai to hun sharu karo. That undisputed moksha mark which you want to know, a chuk, a chuk upai will say. Chukai nahi evo a chuk upai. You have this pill and your disease will go. So he is going to show you that undisputed path. I can see the eagerness in you. Ki bapa, 22 verses masu kya wana jaldi kyo? No, it will be beautifully explained internally, externally, positively, negatively, in a negative way. You can say moksha is karma-less state. This is a negative way to say something devoid of, devoid of passion, devoid of karma. All this should not be there. So in the not language, anini jananta sukhabhog, that is positively, there is that bliss of self. Soul nati ke to nij che. Atmik nati nij che. Your suk. If you say soul's happiness, it can be other soul's happiness. Your of self. Independent. So beautifully explained. So even though ho ya kadapi moksha pad nahi avirodha upaya. See, try to understand, there are heaps and heaps of karmas already accumulated since past lives, of the past lives, heaps and heaps of karma. Not only that, you are constantly acquiring new. So you already had a debt of say 10 million. And some, you add a little more in this birth. So Punit Maharaj said, Devu patava avyo jagma, Devu vattu jai. Debt clear karva mate hu avyo a manushya bhavma ne tamara charne. But debt vattu jai, it's yet I have crowed, I have lust, I have uh, ego, self, you know, vattu So, one, number one, Accumulation of heaps and heaps of karmas of past. Second, constantly acquiring karmas. Thoda ke vadare, but constantly acquiring. So, past karmas can be destroyed in two ways. Karmas of past and present. Both, so it's an accumulation of lots of karmas. This can be destroyed in two ways. Number one, either by the by their fruition. So they come in Uday, they <coughs> uh, they show impact, and the soul enjoys or suffers. And once it enjoys and suffers, they are destroyed. So either bhogvi ne nash karo. Huh? Thai bhokti dur, yeah. Thai bhokti dur in bhokta pad. Bhok, 
and then it is destroyed. So one is, how do you get rid of the past karmas? One is by the fruition. And second is destroying it, releasing it by right effort of the soul. Prusharth, Nirjara. Two ways you can destroy. So just imagine if I take the first um, path, let all the karmas show their results or their fruits, then I won't react to it, so I won't add to it, no new acquiring. Repan, endless karma che, and it's 60 years only. So every minute if all your auspicious and inauspicious karmas come, still how many will you finish in 60 if you go from the first way? So you need how much time for endless karmas? Endless time. You know what you're saying? Endless time. So then my fifth path only gets destroyed. Liberation is possible. What? Liberation is possible, yes, after endless time. So end is possible after endless time. What are you talking? Cancel karido one number? Okay, so the first thing is right, but I can't go that way. And who knows, Bachma, if I start reacting, so I'll acquire new, so that endless plus new. So, to barabar nati, this can't be the moksha Second makes sense, the right effort of the soul, Satpurusharth. The karmani nijara, you know, we use the word nijara, nijara, before it can show its fruit, you release it from the soul. Release is the right word. You can use the word destroy also, but release it. So soul satyam che, and before it can show its fruits, you release it from the soul. Correct? Why do you need to do this? Because liberation is destruction of all karmas. All karmas should be released from your soul. So, liberation is not possible if even one karma is also attached to the soul. So, how much time will you take? Because the karmas are infinite. So, how much time will you take to attain liberation? Karmas are infinite. So logically, five karmas baki hoy, to five unit of time choye. So infinite hoy. Come on, answer. Karmo kala anantana will take anant. If karmo is of anant kal, infinite time, it will take infinite time to destroy it. So then what should I do in this birth? Because I know I won't be liberated. You understand? Show me some way, show me some way, that in this short span of this human birth, I can destroy most of the karmas, if not all. Most of them. That would be the moksha upaya. Got it? Okay, so the disciple is having this doubt, Shati Chedi Ajay. In this short lifespan of this human birth, not the human birth, this human birth. I'm not talking in general terms, I'm talking Mara A Jivanna. 54 is already over and I have short time left. Emma, what can I do? to destroy all my karmas. The Shishya wants to know that. Beautiful. <coughs> but the Shishya is having doubt. The complete extinction of karmas in this present life seems impossible because he has not put the right effort up till now. He's saying, I don't know, I can't see karmas, but I can gauge from my impure feelings which arises in me, okay, how much has it been pacified, reduced, or destroyed? Like, I don't want to murder karwana parinam na jakta. 
सो दैट्स गॉन फ्रॉम माई सोल चलो मैंने कोई ने स्लैप करवाना कि अब्यूज करवाना भाव न था तो आई विल से दैट हैज गॉन इना प्रति यू कैन गेज मापी सको के केटला तमें मोक्ष तरफ बढ़िया छो करेक्ट ऑल दैट विल बी शोन द माई स्टोन विल बी शोन फ्रॉम अ ड्रेन एट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट टू द एंड सो इफ somebody has problems of the chaud gun stanak and the names of chaud gun stanak and it, you don't you just need to know these five milestones all the 14 gun stanaks are covered here in these five verses beautiful so so <coughs> he says i i'm convinced about the existence of the soul dash 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 but i am not yet convinced about the path of liberation rather i have several doubts regarding confusion there is a confusion within me regarding the path of liberation he puts forth his confusion pleads for the solution respectfully asks i have to use the word respectfully because then only um, the claim that he is a worthy disciple respectfully ask his guru to show him the path the flawless path the path acceptable to all not in words i'm saying path let the vedanti speak their language let the jain speak their language let the buddhist speak their language words i'm talking of the path it should be acceptable to all so please show me that flawless path so we actually have two problems the meaning the shishya has two problems what about the long standing bondage karma kal anantana long standing bondage what to do about it number one and second the soul is conditioned to react to every impact of the karmas every situation favorable or unfavorable we are, our minds are conditioned to react so what do i do regarding those that conditioning of the soul so give me some solution a path by which both the problems can be solved number 1 the long standing bondage that should be destroyed number 1 second thing the conditioning of the soul that has to be overcome so if liberation is not possible if there is no path of liberation then knowing about liberation is of little avail bo ocho labh thayo kai kai atlu badu bhanya quiz mate bhanya atlu badu pakku kairu ni janan suk bhog deha dik sanyog atyantik viyog atlu badu detail ma me samjha but the if i don't understand the path of liberation then all this knowledge is of less very little avail or you can say futile na kam uthe bahu labh na thayo em bhi bola hai ke actually kai labh na thayo em bhi ganay because i will never be attaining so this is his first confusion confusion is clear very simple karmo kal anantana shathi chhedya jaye मीनिंग बिल कीप अ कॉमन एक्जाम्पल के बिल्डिंग एक बिल्डिंग बांधवा टू बिल्ड इट से आई टूक थ्री इयर्स सो हम इन्हें तोड़वा आई विल नीड थ्री इयर्स बट आई डोंट हैव थ्री इयर्स सो दिस इज इज कन्फ्यूजन यू गॉट दी आंसर ऑलरेडी यू गॉट दी आंसर ऑलरेडी i have not said it this is guru's grace and this is <coughs> satsang prabhav ke after some time the guru does not say and we get the answers he doesn't even speak and that is also his grace not your intelligence you have been constantly doing satsang and you have started picking up the essence of the satsang 
So now before he answers, you exactly know what he's going to answer. Correct? So this is satsang. This is the power of satsang. Let's sing this verse again. Hoi kada pi moksh pad nahi avirodh upai Karmo kaad anantina shathi chedya jai